Hello and welcome to the Ubuntu Developer Channel. It is currently Sunday, December 29th, 2013, although I'm not sure exactly when this video will be uploaded, but I thought I would come to you and talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the Ubuntu developer world and just give you a few updates as to where things stand. First up, earlier this month, it was announced by Apache that Apache Cordova version 3.3 is going to officially support Ubuntu as a development platform. This is an amazing opportunity, opening the door to over 400,000 web developers currently using Cordova, allowing them to bring their applications easily over to the Ubuntu Touch platform. And what makes this better is that the developers can use the tools they've already been using. They can use the PhoneGap framework to make this available on Ubuntu as well, and this does bring Ubuntu Touch right alongside other platforms like Android and iOS in terms of being able to bring these HTML5 based apps to the device. Moving right along though, and continuing to talk about making things just a little bit easier for you guys, the developers, an announcement was made earlier this month over on the Ubuntu Devil email list by Dmitry John Ledkov that as of the latest version of CMake, you're now able to cross-compile your applications. So from your desktop running an x86 or 64-bit version of Ubuntu, you can actually compile applications that will run natively on your mobile device of choice. So between this new version of CMake and the emulator that's now available for the desktop, you should be able to test your application end to end to see how it's actually going to work once it hits the mobile platform. According to the post on the email thread, he says that it's worked for a wide variety of packages so far. It's not guaranteed to work for absolutely everything, but it should work. And it seems relatively straightforward to get it set up as long as you have the appropriate build dependencies installed on your system. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about that or perhaps compiling for your device on your desktop, I'll have a link to the email thread where you can find this down in the video description. And moving on, we're going to look a little bit to the future. Upcoming at the end of January, specifically the week of January 20th through the 25th, we're going to have another Ubuntu App Developers Week. And this should very much be done like the virtual UDS that's been done in the past, where everything's going to be done over Google Hangouts, lots of tutorials are going to be made available, lots of live sessions are going to be done so you can ask your questions, you can participate, you can try to do the same things that are being done at the same time as the person on the Google Hangouts is doing them. And the reason I chose to go ahead and mention this now, the call for papers for this is now open, so if you feel you have something you can contribute to the Ubuntu App Developer Week, you can go ahead and register your interest over at summit.ubuntu.com. If you're having any sort of issues getting a setup with Google Plus Hangouts, you can talk to Michael Hall. He should be able to help facilitate most of anything that you might need to make your session work. And I just noticed that it might be a little bit late to even be mentioning the call for papers because apparently the call for papers submission deadline is December 31st. So if you do have something you want to submit, submit it now. Hopefully this video will go up in time to make this actually a reality for some of you guys. And the last thing I thought I would mention, Ubuntu is now officially sponsoring the Career Hack App Development Challenge. There are over 20,000 pounds in prizes being given out and this does end at the end of February. I believe it's around February 21st. First. So if you're interested in being a part of it, I'll have the link to that down in the video description as well. Basically all you have to do is build an app using their open data framework that they provide. And there's even a special 5,000 pound prize for people in the 16 to 24 year old range to help further education. So as I mentioned, I'll have a link to that and all the other stories I talked about down in the video description below. I'll also have links to my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and check out the videos that I make over on my side of things where I tend to talk about just more general tech related things. So hopefully I'll see you guys over there. But that is going to be about all from me for today. If you did like this video, I would definitely appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up down below, and you can subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching though, and I will see you again next time.